come at me. You're now rocking with the greatest, reacting to the old and reacting to the latest. Every single genre that's Birdman's taste. Everybody's welcome here in Birdman's place. Who was saying, Mike? Birdman here. Welcome to my place. As always, thank you for stopping on in. Ladies and gentlemen, you have tuned in to yet another reaction slash review video. And we're gonna dig right in, but first things first, I'ma link you to do something for me. Follow me on twitch.com slash birdman's place for all of my live streams. They are the lifeblood of this channel. They are a marathon and we have a blast. And secondly, and just as important, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to relax. Take your shoes off, kick your feet up, and enjoy, because we gonna have some fun today. I say that, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't think it's gonna be a whole lot of fun, and I'll tell you why. Not because we're not gonna be impressed with what we hear today. I say it because today we're going to be listening to some spoken word by the name of, by uh, an artist by the name of Clayton Jennings. I've heard him before. I, I really enjoy what he does. And uh, this one's called Dear Anxiety. Now, I have several family members, very, very close family members that have really high anxiety to the point where they take medication. I have a form of anxiety. Um, not to the point where I take medication. But I understand a lot of it. Um, some of the people I'm w with one of the people I'm the only one that can calm them down um, and it's it, it's it's debilitating it can be extremely debilitating so I'm intrigued to see what Mr. Jennings has to say on the subject um, I, I'm very very intrigued by that and basically at this point ladies and gentlemen there's really only one thing left to do. Freddy, pardon me. I have to borrow these from you. Let's get it. Welcome everyone. Every time you walk through these doors, you're taking steps to find yourself. Remember, this is a safe place. There's no judgment. You are accepted right where you're at and wherever that go. leads to find your own peace and happiness. Feel free to express yourself to release your anxiety. I want you to be able to walk out with inner strength to finally be free. Clayton, it's great to have you back. I know you don't like to share, but why don't you start us off tonight? We want to hear what you have to say. I wake up, puddle of sweat. I have nightmares and I get back into bed. It's like these voices just keep playing on repeat in the back of my head. And I can't get them to leave me alone. 30 years old, but still hates being alone when I'm home. Because that's when the voices get the loudest. Opening up like this is a moment far from my proudest. But these demons keep pressing me, I swear they're the foulest. But I've grown comfortable with their presence. My conscience is calloused. My dreams are their playground. My thoughts are their palace. I've grown comfortable. My conscience is calloused. Wow. He basically is so used to this. So used to these demons and these voices in his head that it's become second nature. That's that's horrible. That's that's sad. That's that's a point where man that's a point where it's, where it's hard to come back. You, you can't let it get to that point. Um, that's rough. That's rough. He's 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 going to a support group, going to going to people, talking to people about it is 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 a good thing at this point. Where it's gotten to where you it doesn't even affect you anymore. That's not a good thing. That's beautiful so far. Let's keep going. I try to evict them. They return with more. Anxiety isn't an item you can return at the store. I was oh. 10 the first time I had a panic attack. 
like a punch to the stomach. There's no planning for that. And I didn't tell anyone because I was too scared about what they'd say. And I know deep down there was nothing they could do to take it away. It was my fight to fight and my battle to face. I remember that house I grew up in and how those demons would rattle that place. I'd lay awake at night just staring at the ceiling. I've spent my whole life trying to run from that feeling. That feeling of being lonely, that feeling of being lost, that feeling of being sick when the lights turn off, that feeling of being depressed, that feeling of being anxious, that feeling of screaming to God, begging Him to take this, only to get silence in return. I'd lay in that bed crying and I'd toss and I'd turn and I'd turn and I'd toss to this day. The doctors gave me medication, the pastor said pray. That's deep. That's rough. There's a lot, lot going on there. Everything he's dealt with. Screaming and crying. Medication. Pastor said pray. It's so hard, y'all. Someone with anxiety, you can't just tell them, hey, calm down. It's okay. Doesn't work that way. Does not work that way. And it's rough because you really can't just tell somebody it's going to be okay. It, some people, you can calm them down by explaining to them the situation. If their anxiety is not too bad, explaining the situation from bare bones and, and show them that it's not. Show, you can't tell them it's okay. You got to show them why. And, even, and some people, that doesn't even work. There are some people out there where you have to break it down bit by bit to explain to them why their anxiety is not called for at this time. Um, that's the crazy part. It's hard. I tried both and this anxiety still hasn't gone away. So forgive me if I fantasize about being gone today. I'm an actor who got really good at being on today. But when I turn off, I go right back into the shadows. I'm in the deep end now, but I started in the shallows. And I might just drown myself in these waves. Suburban hell, these homes are all graves. Everyone's coping with something, but won't admit it. They're all too afraid. And these kids are glued to watching me. What do I say? If I'm honest with them, maybe they won't think highly of me. Everything they want me to be is what I'm dying to be. But Everything I really am is what I'm not trying to be. I want them to know that they're not alone in their struggles. I wake up in tears and fall back asleep in those puddles. And I don't think I'll ever get out of this valley I'm in. Terrified that all along God has tallied my sins. And if he has, the number must be astronomic. My life is a joke and you keep reading just past the comic. Because everything you think that I am is far from the truth. I wish I could open up to you and just let loose. But my vocal cords get tight when the devil pulls on this noose. And then I'm back to keeping everything bottled up inside. But he's not going to keep me from pulling the throttle back this time. He's not going to keep me trapped like this. I when you have an anxiety attack or when anxiety kicks in, you start thinking of ways to be more upset. Like he said right there, if I add up the list of my sins, they'd be astronomical. That's the kind of thing you would do. Like, damn, think of all the stuff I've done in this world. I'm going to hell. That's the kind of stuff that goes on in your mind. You start coming up with ways for your anxiety to continue. And it's scary. Because it's one thing after another, after another, after another. And then you've all of a sudden built this massive list of reasons to be upset. And you can't tear them down one by one. You can't tear them all down because there's too many. And that's where it starts getting scary. Because it just keeps building and building and building and building and building. And it's just one thing after another. And it doesn't end. It's scary. 
can't get out of bed I was never made to act like this I'm packing up my bags and he can't stop me from running fast like this I'm not gonna be a slave to these voices of anxiety I'm shoving the devil back for every time that he lied to me And I'm taking a belt to these demons who whisper Hell despair yeah. in my ear yeah. And I'm ignoring every naysayer who stands and stares when yeah. I'm near I'm moving forward out of this slump I took it's my bruises, you. I took my lumps I fell down but I got right back up So give yes. me a torch and let's light that up I'm setting fire to the devil and I'm dousing these demons in gasoline Look at you now, now you're not laughing at me Now who's the one who's being tortured and punked? Now who's the one closing every door that I want? Now who's the one watching the other burn to the ground? Yes. Don't look away from me, you better turn back around I'm not done talking to you oh, now yeah. I'm watching your moves I'm Get on it. your back and I'm stalking you too And when you try to ruin some other kid's life I'll be stopping you too You took 30 years of my life and I can't get that back You told me to end my life and I nearly got killed for that You took me down but I bounced right back I was lost then and I got found like that And everything you told me I wasn't Someone new told me I was And everything you hated in me Someone new told me he loves And when you tried to kill me with depression and anxiety He reached in and placed hope deep inside of me So I'm done listening to you and letting you control me I'm announcing it now that the devil can't hold me I'm walking away from the old me And I'm demanding a refund on every lie that you sold me You knew I'd find a way out sooner or later And I found my escape in the form of a savior Do it, bro. We're here to help. Are you sure you don't want to share? Wow. I'm good. Thank you. There's one thing, there's one thing I don't like about that. There's one thing. If he really was good after, you know, he felt all that and he got better in his head. He did it himself. He fought back. He beat the demons. He should have said all of that because maybe he could have helped someone else in there that needed it. Yes, like it said, support less group because they don't know what they're doing. They haven't reached that point. If they had somebody like him who had that moment, that moment of strength that got him past it, he could have stepped up and said something. I didn't like that. This was beautiful. It was amazing and so true. I got emotional. I teared up. I just wish he would have, in the, in the story here, I wish he would have stood up and said something. That would have made it even better. I mean, it was beautiful. But to me, that's the only thing that that story was lacking. But that was amazing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Follow me on social media. My links are right down here. If you'd like to be a member of the flock on Patreon, get some exclusive content, videos you won't see on the channel, videos YouTube doesn't want you to see that they blocked, those are on there. You can get early access to my videos, you can get your request shot up the list faster, you can get 10% off of merchandise, you can drop in for Turn It Up Tuesdays, we have movie nights, comedy nights, wrestling nights, we have video Q&As with artists, video Q&As with other YouTubers, so much different stuff, it's so much fun, we have a blast. Just come on in, it's worth it, come check it out. Information up here, link in the description below. Like, share, subscribe, pass me around. Let's grow the Birdman fam. Birdman fam, flock, love you guys. Mean it. I'm going to see you on the next one. All right, much love. Peace. Who was shaking bacon? Birdman here. Welcome to my place. As always, thank you for stopping in. If you like this video, go on ahead and come be a member of the Birdman fam by hitting that subscribe button. Also, make sure you catch the videos on this screen as well as a playlist of all the stuff I put together. Birdman fam, I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.